Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate drop table statements for all the tables in SQL Server database. Open your SSMS and connect to the SQL Server instance. Then navigate to the database. Here, I'm going to use Tech Brothers IT database. Go to tables and open a new query. And you guys know that you can use a drop table and table name statement to drop the table. So that's simple no big deal but if you have to generate the statement for all those tables uh, you will not be typing with drop table this table and all that or uh, maybe to specific schemas uh, one reason uh, I'm going to teach you this uh, how to generate that I want you to get familiar with the select statement uh, and uh, also start using uh, the system views or the system tables uh. so we know that uh, we have different system views uh, and uh, uh, system uh, tables that we can use to gather information uh, regarding the objects such as tables, views, store procedure functions in SQL Server databases. Uh, one of them uh, is information schema data tables. Uh, open that, and now we see that uh, we get the catalog name. That's our uh, uh, database name, schema name, and table name. And we know that there are base table and there are views. Uh, so we are only concerned about the base tables. Uh, I'm going to say where table base table sorry type is uh, equal to base table okay run your query now from here we can uh, build our uh, statement uh, how we are going to build it uh, I'm going to leave the asterisk as it is just put the comma here and uh, show you we can uh, have single quotes here my test so see this uh, is as my query sorry okay now if I would run this one this static value I'm uh, using uh, uh, as a new query column and it is going to repeat uh, the number of times uh, or the number of rows we have uh, in the table uh, so all with all the results set uh, this new column is added uh, the same way I can draw uh, use uh, this part and uh, create uh, the statement uh, to create a drop uh, uh, statement uh, so I will say drop table and then uh, you know that I need to have a schema name and table name so I add the parentheses plus uh, I can use uh, the table schema schema plus uh, single quotes parentheses close and period and then uh, parentheses start single quotes and I need the table name so uh, table underscore name and that information I have uh, from the information schema dot tables uh, plus sign single quotes uh, and parentheses close. Uh, so this will uh, generate my drop table statement for all the tables uh, what I'm interested in. Uh. So now if I go ahead and run it, so you see that uh, this is the drop statement. I can copy and open a new query and paste it there. So you see that I have drop table uh, this one, that one and all of them and if I run this one it was going to drop uh, those uh, tables uh. now think about that I'm only interested uh, to generate the statements for the staging uh. so I can have uh, where class with the filter where I will say uh, table schema is equal to stg so now I have uh, this drop table uh, statement so for only the tables which are in stg schema so I can uh, just copy from here and uh, go and paste it here and just run it if I need to so let's go ahead and run it and see if it will drop all the tables so it completed successfully and I do not see any more uh, tables uh, uh, that belong to the STG schema so that's how you will be generating uh, your drop statements uh, alter statements uh, and I uh, created another video uh, where uh, you can generate the statement uh, for adding a new column or a drop in a new drop in a column from all the database uh, base sorry all the tables in the database uh, so uh, start getting familiar with the system objects such as uh, information schema dot tables dot columns uh, uh, constraints uh, and uh, other system tables and uh, start uh, building small queries uh, as I showed you guys here in this demo thanks very much and I appreciate your time uh, spending with me and learning uh, good stuff. I will see you guys in the uh, next video.